Disgraced felon lawyer Michael Cohen has a new book out. It's an election year quickie that he probably hasn't even read. It attacks Donald Trump. Someone should ask him, have you read it? Quick, what's chapter three about? No one will ask him that, of course. The media naturally have swung into formation to promote it. CNN's leading the charge. Tomorrow night, Michael Cohen is on CNN for a much-hyped primetime interview. You can imagine how many tough questions he's going to get on CNN. Probably not too many. For Michael Cohen, CNN is like a second home. He's got a lot of close friends over there, including, we told you about this last week, the channel's chief bodybuilding correspondent, Chris Cuomo. We'll have much more on the friendship between Cohen and Cuomo later in the week. But Chris Cuomo is not Cohen's only ally at CNN. Cohen is also close to CNN President Jeff Zucker, the man who moonlights as a Democratic campaign operative. Cohen and Zucker once had kids at the same private school in New York. Cohen served on the board of the school with Zucker's ex-wife. Jeff Zucker and Michael Cohen have long been personal friends, at least to the extent that narcissists have the capacity for personal friendship. Their relationship tells you a lot about how things actually work. in media and in politics. Case in point, on March 10th, 2016, that was the day of the final Republican primary debate, Cohen called Jeff Zucker on his cell phone. CNN was hosting the debate that night in Miami, and Cohen, who was working for Donald Trump at the time, wanted to check in about it. Well, Zucker almost immediately started bragging about himself, as he is wont to do. After a few pro forma words about their family, Zucker launched into an extended lecture about his own importance. Here's the thing, Zucker announced to Cohen. You cannot be elected president of the United States without CNN. Fox and MSNBC are irrelevant, irrelevant in electing a general election candidate. If you want to run the country, in other words, Jeff Zucker said, you've got to sniff my throne. It's not that CNN needs the help, he explained. Quote, we're killing it. We're doing great. But Donald Trump badly needs CNN. Quote, you guys have had great instincts, great guts, great understanding of everything but you're missing the boat on how it works going forward. Oh, how it works going forward. Okay, Michael Cohen replies, why don't you email Donald Trump and tell him that? And at that point, for the first time in the conversation, Jeff Zucker pauses. It turns out that Jeff Zucker doesn't like to write things down. Sneaky people never do. So here's what he says next. I'm very conscious of not putting too much in email. As you're a lawyer, as you understand, and, you know, and as fond as I am of the boss, he also has a tendency, like, you know, if I call him or I email him, he then is capable of going out in his next rally and saying that we just talked. And I can't have that, if you know what I'm saying. People would know I talked to Trump and I can't have that, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we know what you're saying, Jeff Zucker. You're saying that secretly, when you think no one is watching, you are more than happy to play all sides. You can brag about how powerful you are, the big-time network honcho kingmaker, the man who decides who's president. Like all tiny, insecure people, you will mix flattery with your swagger along the way. You refer to Donald Trump as the boss, even when he's not on the call. You're happy to do that. What you don't want is anyone in your tiny, self-righteous, left-wing, rich-person world to know that you're doing it. What would Don Lamont think if he knew you were talking to Orange Satan? Brooke Baldwin might storm off the set. The world would conclude that you're a dishonest phony and for good reason. So you've got to keep it all hidden. Sorry. You know what I'm saying. But Zucker assured Michael Cohen that none of this was personal. Quote, it's not that I don't want to talk to Trump every day. I've just got to be careful because, because I've got to be careful. I just don't want him talking about it on the campaign trail. But you know what? I'm going to give him a call right now, and I'm going to wish him luck in the debate tonight. And then Zucker added this. I have all these proposals for him. Like, I, I want to do a weekly, you know, I, I want to do a weekly show with him and all this stuff. When is he back in New York tomorrow? Do you know? Wait, what? A weekly show on CNN? Jeff Zucker, the president of CNN, wanted to give a weekly show to a man he himself has denounced as a racist? Yep. That was the plan. Trump, of course, never did get the show. Anderson Cooper is still there. But Jeff Zucker did take the time to dispense quite a bit of unsolicited political advice to Michael Cohen. Quote, I think the other guys are going to gang up on him tremendously, tonight, Zucker said about the debate that night. And I think he's going to hold his own, as he does every time. He's never lost a debate. And do you know what? He's good at this. He's going to do great. Cohen didn't seem convinced by this. Cohen was worried about attacks from the other Republicans on the stage. 
But Zucker reassured him that Trump would prevail. And then Jeff Zucker offered this surprisingly detailed political advice. Listen. How many times do you think Cruz is going to call him a con man tonight? No, uh, Rub uh, I mean, Rubio. Rubio. I mean, Rubio. Rubio. How many times do you think he's... A lot. <laughs> a lot. I, I say a hundred. So, so, so you, know what, you know what you should do is, who's ever around him today should just be calling him a con man all day so that he's, get, so he's used to it. So that when he hears it from, from Rubio, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Hey, con man. You know, hey, con man. It, hey, it, con man. Exactly. Hey, con man. Hey, con man. Yeah, great. You want to get, so, yeah, get so like, you know. Yeah, you want to get smacked so, like, in the head? They think that, he, he thinks that's his name, you know? Hey, con man. Hey, con man. Hey, con man, says the con man. There it is. That's how it really works. Inside tips on how to navigate the CNN debate from the head of CNN. Jeff Zucker, a man who was supposedly a journalist, secretly working as a political consultant. The guy who runs the Democratic Party's most faithful news network, giving political advice to the Republican frontrunner. Donald Trump's chief tormentor colluding secretly with Donald Trump's lawyer. It's all bewildering, but that's what it's really like. That's the real Jeff Zucker, a man who believes in nothing, a man whose only goal is proximity to power, no matter who wields it. No wonder he's friends with Michael Cohen. Well, we'll have more tomorrow, including tape that will explain how do those CNN interviews come about? Some of them seem coached. Some of them seem like the guest knows what the host is going to ask. Turns out, because that's really what happens. They're coached, and we'll prove it tomorrow night. Here's a sample. I think the way this conversation goes is almost exactly the way we're having it right now, which is where I say, this looks shady. And you say, yeah, it looks shady to you because you're coming with a specific intention. But I'm telling you, here's why I did it.